Hey there, this is my entry for Let Em Dare 22. It's called Solitude, and it is a retro-style, randomly generated platformer. This will be just a quick gameplay video, uh, just showing off some of the features. So you play as a telekinetic brain created by the army, and uh, to fit with the theme, you're trying to escape them, and you just want to be left alone. Uh, to do so, you'll have to navigate two levels and defeat a boss to win your freedom. I didn't really have enough time, but I would have loved to drop a tutorial level in here as opposed to this text, and you know, a couple of uh, a couple of pictures to set up the story instead of this preamble. So let's get this started. Um, so you can see your character is a little floating uh, brain. He's got a little slash move that does a uh, decent amount of damage and reflects bullets. He's also got a fireball move uh, that goes through terrain but doesn't do quite as much damage, but has range. You can see as I'm killing enemies, uh, I've got two bars on the top. Uh, the top one's my health, and the second one is my energy. So as I take damage, my health drops, and as I kill uh, army guys, they replenish my energy. Um, so the kind of goal is you're trying to find the exit to the level, which is always on the bottom part. So uh, I'm kind of searching for the door right now. I'll just kind of show off one of my powers. That's a normal jump, and that's an energy boosted jump. So you can either jump really high or float using your energy. You can see it drains uh, the energy bar pretty quick. So I'm a little low on energy, but I want to use my second power up, which is a terrain destruction. So I'm going to kill these two guys and clutch my energy. Kind of a cheap way of doing it, but it works. So holding down, I can charge up and create a little explosion to get some energy back. You can see that's the second door, the exit, and when I touch that, the next level will load up and my energy and health will replenish. So uh, in terms of missing features, I'm just going to navigate through here and try to get to the next door really quick. Uh, I really I like the little blood effect as you damage the soldiers, but I was really hoping to add a bunch of particle effects, have them jib out and kind of leave a nice uh, glowing brain behind that you could physically collect uh, for energy, as opposed to just killing them and gaining the energy, uh, but it didn't happen. A couple of things I wanted to add in, add in but uh, didn't make it. So this is level 3, uh, the final level in the boss fight, and you can kind of see the boss is a modified soldier, he's got like a little jetpack-ish thing on the bottom of him, and he's got two modes. He can charge if you get too close to him, and you can see he doesn't take much damage when he's charging. He'll eventually rush you, he touch your character, you take a bit of damage, and he comes in on the other side. And his other attack is firing little bullets, which you can reflect with your melee attack. So, cheap way of beating him is staying here, reflecting his bullets, and then just nailing him with ranged attacks. Quick, easy way of beating him, hard to beat otherwise. So I'd love to keep working on this game, turn it into a bit of a roguelike. Um, so let me know what you guys think, what kind of mechanics would really spice things up, uh, what you'd like to see. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and go try the game.